Hey YouTube, Jason Ramos here with Day Train Fearless. Welcome if you're new and welcome back if you're not. Uh, so, um, hey, if you've never been here, make sure you subscribe. Also, just to kind of let you know exactly what we do, we do tips and tricks of the stocks, options, futures, forex, and Nadex binary options. So if there are certain things that you're looking for uh, that can help you out in your trading, make sure you subscribe and watch us, okay? Because um, we give a lot of valuable education and little snippets that will be able to help you identify uh, trade setups in your own everyday trading. Doesn't matter if you're a day trader or a swing trader, okay? Um, so with that being said, today's uh, we're gonna talk about uh, trading chart patterns double bottoms okay uh i've done a video in the past for double tops make sure you go back and watch that but today we're going to talk about double bottoms how to recognize them and also how to get high probability trade setups out of them so let's get right to the uh, charts okay so here we are we're on a uh s and E-mini 512 tick chart. Now, whatever I talk about in this, even though it's not a stock or whatever, um, it it's the same for every single stock, okay? Every single Forex, it, it's all patterns that we're looking for. Down below, I have um, essentially a RSI, okay? And I'm gonna show you a couple of examples of double double bottoms um, that you'll want to kind of look out for and to see, right? To be able to recognize. So here, this is what a double bottom is, okay? So let's grab our tool, right? Price of fails, okay, falls. We rally, we pull back, okay? Back to the previous low, and then we start to rally again, okay? now. These are either called W patterns or uh, double uh, double bottom patterns, okay? Um, I call them W patterns a lot of times, um, and W stands for win, which for me is, hey, I want to get along this, right? Double tops are M patterns, right? Price rallies, we fail, rallies back to that same level, fails and then goes down right i say meltdown for a double uh for a double top right so w for double bottoms m for meltdown for double tops okay hope i didn't confuse you because i think i got confused <laughs> for a second but with that being said um a lot of times here is our w pattern right so price fails we rally Okay, we usually rally uh, before the previous high, right? Because we're in a series of making lower highs and lower lows usually. Price then uh, fails, goes back down to the same exact level we were before, okay? And then price rallies from there and breaks out. Now, this was a failed breakout, but you could see that W pattern, right? Double bottom. Now, one very important thing with double bottoms that you have to remember sometimes it could come up a penny two three pennies short okay meaning price could um just come down to this level and then rally so it doesn't have to be an exact double bottom sometimes it might break if by one tick okay and that's it just go by one tick and then reverse and sucker everybody out, right? Because if it breaks by one tick, everybody thinks, oh, it's broken, and then price reverses, and it's off to the races. And usually double tops, double bottoms, um, will be lows or highs for a while, okay? So there's a double bottom. Um, there's another, uh, here's another double bottom, right? You can almost call this a quadruple, but here, price fails, right? We rally, we come back down. As you can see, every single price is exactly the same exact price. There's a big buyer down here, and then it's off to the races, okay? Now, the way, how how do you trade this? Well, there are two different ways that I, look, that I like to trade it, right? Now, 
we're on the EMA and the S&Ps, we'll just use stocks as a general rule here, okay? And we'll talk about pennies. Let's say this double bottom right here is at um, 24, uh, well, sorry, we'll say 25 cents, right? It comes down to 25, we bounce. And then what happens is price falls back down, okay? Price falls back down to that 25 cent level. And then it starts to rally again, okay? With that, what happens is I like to look for my entry somewhere maybe about two or three cents above, and I will give it about two or three cents below, okay? And that's a below this level, right? So I literally have about five or six cents worth of risk. I never want to go one penny. I want to give it at least at least two cents, maybe even three or four to be on the safe side, right? Because look at this. This was the low. This was basically uh, with the E-minis. If you're trading this, you're risking maybe 50 bucks and you could have want, made about six or seven hundred dollars off that 100 or that $50 uh, risk, right? You just had to be patient, but that's the way these double bottoms work. Now, the other telltale is the RSI, okay? Have the RSI on your charts because if you look right here, you actually have what we call divergence. So as price is knocking on the door, right, over and over and over, just keeps bouncing off a specific level, you actually have under the hood, we'll call it divergence, letting you know, hey, there's no more momentum. It's not like this momentum where we were up here, right? That when we were up here, it, there was room for it to fall and it fell, right? Well, here's your momentum, then we bounce, but then you're seeing, hey, the selling is not as strong, and then what you have is that big bounce, and the divergence was kind of letting you know in advance to keep an eye on this, okay? Watch, this is a good risk-reward trade for it to actually reverse and move higher and not go lower because of the RSI, okay? Um, let me see if I could find another. Here's another one, okay? Here's another example, but there was no double bottom here, right? And, and now there was a double bottom here, okay? But these were right next to each other, so you're really not going to get anything major. But if you look at this double bottom, we rallied, came back up here, and then came back down. You could have said, on the bigger picture, we have divergence, right? here and then there's divergence here and this is a special code that kind of detects divergence sometimes um but you could see so on this double bottom you could say hey i'm i'm gonna take my chances because on the bigger picture if i go back a couple bars there's actually divergence this new low if you think about it right price came here this new low old support became new resistance, but then all of a sudden it broke out and you could say, hey, my entry is going to be one tick above this and my stop would be one tick below here. If you're playing stocks, maybe a penny above and then maybe two or three pennies uh, down below. Okay. So that is how divergence works okay i'm back here with you guys and i hope that kind of helps you to be able to look at the rsi and look at divergence and try and tie that in with the double tops and double bottoms it's that confluence that's kind of letting you know hey i like this trade this trade actually has a very high probability uh of working out because of the divergence so that's it for double bottoms. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you check out our other videos with uh, other chart patterns and all that. And, we're and we have uh, new ones coming out all the time. So 
Again, make sure you subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Also, down below in the, uh, down below in the description is recommended brokers that I personally like and I personally use, and also a couple uh, trading books that every single trader should have. And I hope the you'll take a look at those books because they will help you in your everyday trading just like these videos and that is my ultimate goal and don't forget to check out my website if you trade um the futures uh day trading fearless okay i have a bunch of content up there videos blogs and also uh my service where i give uh, trade zones for the s p e-minis and crude oil talk to you soon thank you